Hey guys, welcome back. In this video we'll be going through three programming sectors. I personally have a deep understanding in most of these, so hopefully you can do these sectors will all um will only be covered in briefly so beginners won't get confused. Um if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe. The first one we have is data analytics. This is a very prevalent and important job for large companies and even the scientific side of things. This is for you if you enjoy collecting data or doing anything related to science. The lang languages you may want to learn for da data science are Java, C++, SQL and the most popular in the data science community Python. Data science doesn't have a bad salary, on average £70,000 a year or $90,000 a year and that's on average so you could make six figures when you gain experience. However, there's a catch. For most of the other sectors you don't need a degree but for data science you would need one. Now let's look at game development, um, arguably one of the most picked sectors for beginners but also this sector alone makes people quit coding altogether. This is because game development takes a long, lot of things to learn and if you, you are not doing this as a hobby you will have to learn the more difficult languages C Sharp and C++. It is recommended to start at an easy sector or learn an easy language such as Python um, before tackling game development. Well, what types of games, um, what types of game developers are there? There are developers who do it as hobby, as a hobby and put passion in it. However, um, they may not want to learn these advanced languages so they do 2D, 2D games through perhaps Java. There are also 3D games developers who earn more money than doing it as a hobby and they um, use full on engines such as Unity or Unreal Engine. When starting out you can make 30 to 40k but when you get more experience you can easily make 70k a year. You may also make more but it honestly matters how big the game company you are working with are. Now we have web development which is a great option. You have many choices when it comes to what frameworks um, you would like to learn or languages. Usually web development is split into three sections. Section 1 front end um, is front end. This is where you only create UI or UX designs meaning you will make the user aspects of the page like designs, transitions and effects. Section 2 is back end where this is um, this is where the logic um, lays. This is where you keep information for example users in a database and create security plus validation. And section 3 is uh, full stack um, meaning you will do the combination of the front end and back end. All three sections have their own salaries. You think full stack uh, makes more money, however, that is usually not the case. When working with large companies, they'd rather hire dedicated and specialized front and back, uh, front and back end devs rather than a full stack who knows both aspects good enough. However, full stack is great as um, what you what you do is. Uh, what you do, what what when when you do both ends, you you will need to know a tiny bit from each of the ends. So you, if you work as a team, um, you can optimize it where it's efficient enough. Usually, starting you make forty thousand um, pounds a year, uh, but with time you could make ninety k. Um, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and comment which 
exactly as you are going to do.